What's up, everybody? And thank you for joining me today. Before I get started my video, I want to let you guys know that um, I'm going to start making some videos in Spanish on SAP because it only makes sense. I mean, I speak Spanish, so might as well do it. Um, so you have anybody that speaks Spanish is currently working on SAP and need help, tell them to shoot me an email or share the videos with them. So, um, but today I'm going to show you how to do a IP 10, which is schedule maintenance plan, um, which is pretty much the final step to, uh, creating a maintenance plan. I mean, the first step was IA 05, which is create the general task list. And then the second step was the IP 42, which is creating the maintenance plan. And then this is the last step, which is the schedule, the maintenance plan. Now, if you don't know how to do a uh, step one and second, Go look at my other videos. I should have a link below to them. So let's get started. Right here, I got a um, SAP turned on. We're gonna go up here on the top left, put IP10, click that, and then I'm gonna put the same maintenance plan we were working on. Click that. We're gonna put that maintenance plan. Press uh, enter, and then here you're gonna go to the top left where it says start. And then you can put the date. So we're gonna put the date of when we wanted to schedule it. So I'm gonna schedule it on Monday. You always wanna start your maintenance plan on Monday. Now, keep in mind that when you schedule it, you gotta schedule a plan before the actual date. So if you have a maintenance plan that's a weekly PM, you wanna schedule it a week before, and I'll show you why. So right here, I put 7-23-2018, and when I click uh, Execute, it's gonna generate it's going to generate the next week. So here you can see that it's planned for 7 the 30th, 2018, and the 23rd. So you always want to um, schedule it a um, plan before. So you're going to click that and then going to click save. And that's pretty much all. Then you actually have all your uh, maintenance plans start running how it's supposed to. But that's pretty much how you create a maintenance plan through SAP using um, IAO five and then ip42 and what was the last one ip10 um if you like please leave a comment let me know what you guys think please don't forget to look at my other videos but um that's all for now but thank you for watching